Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for the people that are online following the, those discussions. I'm very, very happy to open this uh, fantastic forum today. I um, wanted to thank you all for being here today. Merci à tous d'avoir été là et d'avoir bravé les travaux des Jeux Olympiques et la fermeture du périphérique ce matin avec l'arrivée du président Biden. For those online, you don't know how lucky you are because Paris was stuck today with the Olympics works and President Biden being here in town today. Unfortunately, President Biden, sorry Stephen, was not able to come to the <laughs> forum today. He's been waiting in Normandy for the D-Day, but I'm sure that he supports our work and supports the discussion and the ambition that we have today at the forum. I'm very proud to represent Microsoft in France and pleased that we host today's discussion. We are a long-standing member of the Family Online Safety Institute and on behalf of Microsoft, I want to take this moment and thank you, Stephen, Tammy, and all the FOSI members for convening this extraordinary group of leaders and stakeholders. It is no small effort to put together this kind of event with what looks like a robust agenda. In 2024, FOSI's work on public policy, parenting and industry best practices is more relevant than ever, and I look forward for today's discussion. Without further ado, I know that you are all eager to start the discussion, so I would like to thank you all for being there, and welcome Tammy Bomik to the stage for this first discussion. Thank you, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much everyone for being here. I am confident as an American that President Biden had a very difficult choice to make to come here or to Normandy. So, Lionel, thank you so much for that kind introduction and thank you so much for hosting us all here at your beautiful, beautiful venue. And I'd also like to call out Liz Thomas, wherever you are. Um, Liz, Liz, thank you so much for being on um, the board with me. It has been an absolute pleasure and appreciate all of the work that you've done and the support of FOSI. Good morning to everybody and thank you so much for coming. A warm welcome to all of you watching on the live stream. My name is Tammy Bomek and I'm the chair of the Family Online Safety Institute as well as vice president of civility at Roblox. I want to begin with a huge thank you for the financial support of all of our sponsors, TikTok, Amazon, Google, Resolver, and Roblox, without whom this event would not have been possible. Thank you to everyone. For those of you unfamiliar with FOSI, we are an international nonprofit organization whose mission is to make the online world safer for kids and their families. We do this through the three Ps, enlightened public policy, industry best practices, and good digital parenting. We are also a convener, bringing together the top thinkers and practitioners in the field of online safety to collaborate and innovate in the space. We are gathering at a rather auspicious time, as you are all very familiar. There will be elections in 64 countries in the European Union in 2024, representing one half of the world's population that is staggering. You may have heard that there will be an election in the United States in November, the results of which could have profound implications, not just for the US, but for the rest of the world. To everyone's surprise, there will be an election next month in the UK, surprise. We have already been impacted by that decision. The MP and shadow minister, Alex Davies Jones, will no longer be able to join us today as per parliamentary rules. And of course, France goes to the polls on Sunday in what looks like a highly consequential European election, the first to take place since Brexit and with the backdrop of the rising right wing and populist parties. So we've called this year's forum a transatlantic dialogue. There is so much going on from politics to regulation to stunning new advances in technology, particularly in AI. So we felt more than ever, we needed to really hear from each other, to really listen to one another. From across the sectors and across the pond about the challenges, 
complexities, as well as potential solutions in the ever-expanding field of online safety. Our program today addresses the latest research, thoughts on how to parent in this digital age, and the policies and regulations that shape the experiences of children and young people, our future. And to conclude, we will hear from a prominent whistleblower who has exposed, exposed disturbing decisions by his former employer in one of the world's most notable social media platforms. We will, of course, have plenty of networking time in order for you to meet old friends and make new acquaintances and potential collaborators. I hope you have a wonderful and stimulating day, and I look forward to meeting and speaking with many of you and sharing so many important ideas. At this moment in time, I would like to welcome Stephen, Fos Stephen Balcom, who is both CEO to the stage. Thank you. Ah, good morning. Okay, let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. That's it, you're there. Thank you very much for that kind introduction, Tammy and Lionel. Mary, much appreciated. And part, uh, on behalf of the American people, I do want to apologize for the traffic. Um, we pretty much had to walk here from our hotel, but um, uh, all for a good cause. I want to add my thanks to Liz Thomas and her wonderful colleagues here uh, at Microsoft's and at Paris's office for your very uh, generous uh, hosting and, uh, well, just welcoming us so well, particularly last night. So thank you for that. Um, this is our third European forum that we've held in Paris. We've held a European forum pretty much every year since we were established in 2007. Um, last year, some of you know, we were in Dublin and the year before that in London, both times hosted by Google. So thank you, Google. Um, the last time we were here in Paris was 10 years ago, also hosted by Microsoft here in this room. And actually, I have already met a number. Hands up the folks who are here in 2014. Yes, and there are a number on their way here. So welcome back. It's hardly been 10 years, right? <laughs> well, there have been some changes uh, in that time. And uh, it, it's remarkable that, um, well, as I was saying to Arturo last night, um, everything changes and everything stays the same. And we seem to be still having a lot of these discussions and debates. However, fueled by new political changes, new technologies, and so on. Um, and I, I just also want to note the uh, anniversary of D-Day, which is tomorrow. Um, not only is it causing traffic, but uh, the, it's a personal thing for me, because 20 years ago this week, I brought my parents to Normandy to show my, well, to take my father back to where he served in the war. Uh, and he arrived six days after D-Day as part of the Air Force uh, landing planes uh, in the, the fields just up from Omaha Beach. So um, that was an experience I will never forget. Um, as Tammy said, we meet at a auspicious time, uh, not only for the elections, but the um, extraordinary technological change that is going on. Um, it, it almost feels like waves crashing on the shore. Uh, my joke is that I look at the paper in the morning to find out what I'm going to do that day, uh, because that's how fast the technology is changing. Um, so I think that one of the most important areas for us to begin this discussion is in where it all happens, which is at home. And um, so I can't think of a better place than to begin with our first panel. And our moderator, who I'll introduce, is an old friend of ours at FOSI. Uh, and for the past three years, she has been a special European policy consultant. She's a proud mom and an excellent facilitator. Please welcome Charlotte Ainsley and the parenting panel. Uh, 